Hey, do you guys support the satanic pride propaganda? I, I yeah, both. You support it? Satan you say, and pride. You support Satan? Mm hmm What's God gonna think of that? I don't believe in God. Wow. Don't, so you Did think- Did you need help with something? You support the propaganda that's targeting the kids? Uh, there's nothing targeting kids. All It's all over kids TV shows. It's all over, they're targeting kids the kids. Kids can choose to wear whatever they want. Do you support the sexualization of kids through pride propaganda by sir, corporate? Is there something that we can help you with? I'm just asking people questions. What about you, sir? Do you, do you support I'm not this? Any questions? But if you're here to cause any disturbance in the store, I'm just asking questions. Do you work? Yeah, do you work for the target? Yes, you Do you work yes, for target? I do actually. Where's your name tag? I I am the undercover loss prevention. Oh, okay. So, I'm just asking questions. So, do you support this satanic propaganda? I'm not like answering your questions. What you need to do is you either need to leave the store. God will judge you guys. I am not going to be vaccinated. Mm, I join you in that. I, I'm going to be one of the survivors. I'm going to survive the genocide. That is conservative mega pastor Rick Wiles. I am not going to allow the uh, COVID maniacs uh, to convince me to be vaccinated or vaccinate me against my will. In April, the senior pastor of Flowing Streams Church in Florida and the founder of the conspiracy promoting True News website called the COVID-19 vaccines a mass murder campaign led by Satan's team on Earth. I'm going to survive a global genocide. Now, Wiles himself is in the hospital with COVID-19. It's a dramatic and embarrassing turn for him one month after proclaiming. The only good thing that will come out of this is a lot of stupid people will be killed off. Speaking of stupid, Pastor Rick. Hello, everybody. I'm David Schuster, and thanks for watching. Let me be clear. I don't want any right-wing COVID deniers and anti-vaxxers to die, but it would be nice if they learned a lesson. In a recent post to its official Gab account, Wiles Church said, quote, Flowing Streams is experiencing a sudden cluster of flu and COVID. Please pray for your True News team. A follow-up post urged supporters to specifically pray for Wiles. Urgent request. Please be praying for Rick Wiles. Rick is very much in need of your continued prayers. Today he was taken to the emergency room and under medical advice was admitted to the hospital. He is currently on oxygen and is expected to remain there for a number of days. In other words, Pastor Rick and his followers now have plenty of time to ponder what happened. God's about to bring the whole house down, ladies and gentlemen. These bunch of sex trafficking mongrels Mongrels? are about to be exposed. These bunch of pedophiles in Hollywood are going to be exposed for who they are. I don't care what you think about fraudulent Sleepy Joe. He's a sex trafficking, demon possessed mongrel. Again, mongrel? He's of the left. He ain't no better than the Pope and Oprah Winfrey and Tom Hanks and the rest of that wicked crowd. God is going to bring the whole house down. I said he's going to bring the whole house down. Actually, God has already done that, as evidenced by the popularity of this lunatic pastor named Greg Locke. This jackass now has more than 2 million followers on social media. He recently claimed President Biden and Vice President Harris are leading a sex trafficking ring below the U.S. Capitol. I'm telling you, he's going to expose Kamala Harris for the Jezebel demon that she is. Right. Do you honestly believe, Pastor Locke, that the military uncovered tunnels beneath the Capitol building and beneath the White House and in the five-fingered lakes? Do you really believe that they found kids? Yeah, both live ones and dead ones. And if you disagree with that, and if you try to discount that, and if you try to cover that, and if you try to keep that on the DL, you're just as complicit as Hunter Biden and the rest of them bunch of crack-smoking perverts. Well, it now appears the cracked out hypocrite is, you guessed it, Pastor Locke. The Apostle Paul laid out the requirements for the man who fills the pastoral office. 1 Timothy 3, quote, He must be one who manages his own household well, keeping his children under control with all dignity. Dignity and managing a household well haven't always described Greg Locke. His ex-wife, who he divorced a few years ago, says this pastor and founder of the Tennessee-based Global Vision Bible Church was a deadbeat dad. Melissa Locke says none of their children from their 20 years of marriage live with him or got the requested support from him. Furthermore, she alleges that Greg Locke cheated on her and was physically and verbally abusive. That probably shouldn't come as much of a surprise. You see, last year, Greg Locke threatened to kick in the teeth of a Dunkin' Donuts employee who asked the pastor to wear a mask. Locke confirmed the altercation on his own Facebook page. All of a sudden, 
here comes Nazi Skippy. He comes walking out with his little mask, and he's like, sir, I just want you to know. Now, by the way, he didn't have to embarrass me in front of everybody, but he did, which is probably a mistake because I'm not a real silent guy when you push my buttons too far. By the way, Locke says he goes to the donut shop twice a day for medium-sized coffees with seven creams and five sugars in each one. Maybe that explains why he's so amped up. Or maybe he is naturally a crazed and violent nut job. Locke is also, wait for it, unqualified educationally to be a pastor. That's right, his bio says he got a degree from the Baptist Theological School of New England. The school says it only offers education through correspondence. In other words, mail-in degrees. Anyway, never mind the apparent personal and spiritual fraud we're talking about with Pastor Locke. There are also questions about financial fraud, given the financial improprieties that have popped up at Locke's church. There's a lot to mock and make fun of here, and Locke himself in his sermons plays off the criticism. I'm already crazy! But in all seriousness, it seems like a reproach to Christ's church when somebody like Greg Locke masquerades as a man of God. This self-proclaimed pastor with his anti-LGBTQ Trump-loving screeds is an adulterous internet religion huckster.